You are listening to CMU Podcast. This program is brought to you by Corporate Communication, the Alumni Relations Center, and the Language Institute. Hello, everyone. This is Kelly, and welcome back to another episode of CMU Podcast. And today, the news is Camp CIC signed MOU to promote Thai entrepreneurs entering into the Chinese market through CBEC with Thailand Lao Business Council, the Association of Thai Businesses in Southern China, and the five chambers of commerce in northeastern Thailand to include Udon Thani, Kong Gen, Muk Dahan, Ubon Ratatani, and Nong Kai. An MOU was signed to promote Thai entrepreneurs entering into the Chinese market through CBEC, or cross border e commerce, via the Camp China Intelligence Center, the Thailand Lao Business Council, the Association of Thai Businesses in Southern China, and the five chambers of commerce in northeastern Thailand to include Udon Thani, Kong Gen, Muk Dahan, Ubon Ratatani, and Nong Kai. Dr. Datnaitan Pong Pachara Ton the Associate Dean and Director of the Camp China Intelligence Center, or CIC, Dr. Jaturong Bunak, the Chair of the Thailand Lao Business Council, Ms. Janjira Ananchai Patana, the Chair of the Association of Thai Businesses in Southern China, all signed an MOU to increase channels for Thai products to enter the Chinese market by means of cross border e commerce, or CBEC. This is a result of the promotion of imports by the Chinese government, which is aiming to reduce trade surplus with its neighboring countries by allowing goods to enter the Chinese market via CBEC. The signing took place on February 13, 2024, at Camp CMU. The collaboration will help bring high quality goods produced by entrepreneurs in the five pilot northeastern provinces of Udon Thani, Kong Gen, Muk Dahan, Ubon Ratchatani, and Nong Kai into the CIC or China Intelligence Center developed platform to learn about sales via CBEC in order to test the market and to understand the process of entering the market through real practice. High potential products will be selected to be fully platformed on CBEC Kunming, which has networks of stores on the Chinese online platforms. This will help Thai products enter the Chinese market and promote cross border trade through CBEC thus making the Chiang Kong Customs House in Chiang Rai and the railway transportation that connects Nong Kai with the Lao China Railway in Wiangzhan, important gateways for Thai small and medium enterprises, known as SMEs. On top of that, it will allow collaborations with SMEs and logistics providers in Lao in terms of product, logistics, and international payment system developments, all of which have impacts on SMEs' transactional costs. I-Thai entrepreneurs will be able to build a business alliance with their counterparts across the border, enhancing the trade potential of both countries. At present, the bonded warehouse in Kunming is connected to several Chinese e-commerce platforms including Bing Duo Duo, Taobao Global, Tmall Global, as well as Kwai Shu, which is a platform that presents products in the form of short video clips produced by Chinese influencers. In the context of digital China, this will allow for sales and express logistics in the destination market to access the new market groups more effectively. All of these processes that have been designed to comprise a comprehensive supply chain solution for CBEC have led to the MOU that aims to promote Thai goods and workforce development in Thai China CBEC, which forms a part of the CIC's mission, funded by the Program Management Unit on Area-Based Development or PMUA, and the Mekong Lanchang Special Fund, MLCSF, to make the northern and northeastern regions of Thailand CBEC hubs that link trade and land transportation between China and ASEAN countries. Thank you very much, and that's it for today. Please tune in again for the next episode of CMU Podcast on YouTube and Facebook, and don't forget to follow the hashtag CMU Podcast. Until next time. Thank you and goodbye.